So here's a quick little test. I got a cathode ray tube right here, hooked up to a HV supply. I will turn on a vacuum pump to get the air out, and then turn on the high voltage supply, which should supply about two kilovolts to the system. I do not know the amperage. In the bottom, there's a piece of tape with zinc sulfide on it, which will go once it's bombarded with electrons. So I'll turn off the lights. Well, I'll turn on the power supply first. And we can see it's about two kilovolts. But the tube is yet to go. But once the vacuum pump is turned on, we should get quite the view. So we can see some plasma in the tube. This will gradually disappear as the vacuum increases. The electrons are exciting the phosphor paint. And now most of the plasma is gone. And now the glow is actually disappearing. This is due to the vacuum being a bit too good, so uh, the high voltage is unable to pull electrons from the gas inside, since barely any gas left. This demonstrates that a filament will be required for it to continuously operate at such a low vacuum. And as the pump is turned off, you can see the plasma begin to appear in quickly as it outgasses. That was the quick overview of this tube, hope it was interesting.